In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the five things we recommend doing the first week of starting your online business. We know firsthand how exciting and overwhelming starting an online business can be. We've been in the online business space for over 18 years. There are so many moving parts and it's easy to feel like you're juggling a hundred things without a clear plan. So today we're going to give you five clear actionable steps that you should focus on during your first week. If you follow these steps by the end of the week, you'll have a solid foundation for your business. And make sure you stick around till the end because we have something that is going to be a game changer for your online business. All right, let's get into it. So let's start with step number one, and that is define your business idea and niche. Think of this as the core of your business. It's where you'll determine who you want to serve and what problem you want to help solve and what makes your approach unique. And if you're not sure where to start, ask yourself these three questions. What am I passionate about? What skills or experiences do I have? And is there a demand for this market? Finding a niche that combines these three factors helps you focus on something you love working on that people are willing to pay for. So take some time to research your potential audience. Look up forums, social media groups, or search trends to see what people are talking about in your area of interest. The more you understand your audience's needs and challenges, the better position you'll be to help them. We have several worksheets we've put together that will help you, and those are available by clicking the link down in the description below. Step two is about setting up your brand and messaging. This is your chance to shape how people see and remember your business. Start by picking a business name that reflects your mission. Choose two or three colors and think about the tone and style you want your brand to convey. And remember this, your brand is more than just a logo or a color scheme. It's the way people experience your entire business. It includes your voice, the types of images you share, the emotions you evoke when people interact with you. Are you formal and professional or relaxed and approachable? Think about how you want people to feel when they engage with your brand. Don't stress about making it perfect right away. As you get more comfortable, your brand will naturally evolve over time. The key here is consistency. Once you've chosen your name, colors, and messaging style, and your fonts, stick to them in everything you create. This helps you build a recognizable identity that people will recognize and trust. Okay, step number three is creating an online presence, which can be as simple as a landing page or just a social media profile. You don't need to go all out with a full website. What's important is that people have a place to find you and learn what you have to offer. We personally use Instagram, YouTube, and school for our online presence in our business. So for a simple setup, start with a one-page site or a landing page. Include a short bio explaining who you are, what problems you solve, and a clear way for people to contact you or to sign up for more info. We use the About page on School for our landing page. If you want some inspiration for your own landing page, I'll include the link below if you want to check it out and see what ours looks like. Yeah, you want to make sure that anywhere people find you, your information is consistent. So the same business name, the same colors, mm -hmm. the same messaging style. This way, whether someone finds you on Instagram, YouTube, or school, or even your own website, they recognize your brand right away. Step four is all about building an audience. And this is where new businesses often feel a bit of pressure. I know that's how we felt when we first started, but here's the good news. You don't have to be on every social media platform. Pick one or two where you feel your audience hangs out the most and start sharing valuable, relatable content. Think about what your ideal audience would find helpful or inspiring. It could be tips, personal stories, behind the scenes looks, or even common mistakes in your industry. The goal here is not to be perfect, but to show up consistently with content that genuinely helps or connects with your audience. And don't just post and ghost. Engage with comments, join conversations, respond to messages. Building an audience isn't just about followers. It's about creating a community, finding out what your potential customers want and need. When people feel connected to you, they're more likely to trust and eventually buy from you. And finally, step number five is creating a simple marketing plan. 
You do not need anything elaborate here. Just focus on small actions that get the word out. Decide on one or two things you'll do each week, whether it's sharing social posts or offering a freebie or even reaching out to people in your network. This is one of the reasons we personally chose the school platform for our online business. It's so incredibly easy to use and everything is built in, so you don't need a separate landing page or opt-in page. It has its own community built in. You can offer free and paid portions in your community. It is absolutely amazing. If you haven't heard of it or checked it out yet, I've included a link for a 14-day free trial down in the description below. A good marketing plan helps people find you. You could start by creating a free guide or checklist related to your niche that people can download in exchange for their email. Or, if you're active on social media, commit to sharing a few posts per week that show what you're working on, who you help, and why. Over time, your plan can grow with your business. But for now, just focus on being consistent and intentional with your marketing efforts. Small, steady actions can build momentum. And before you know it, you'll start to attract your first customers. So we told you if you stuck around till the end, we were gonna give you something that was gonna be a game changer for your business. So we started a free school community and we give away the entire first week of our course completely for free. We show you how to plan out your business model. We show you how to find your niche, how to do market research, how to find your target market, what your messaging should be, and your unique selling point. You're going to be completely amazed at all the information we offer for free inside. So if you feel like starting a business is a lot to tackle by yourself and you're feeling a little overwhelmed, you don't have to. Go ahead and click our link below and join our free community on school and let's build a business together.